What's up, everybody? It's Mommy Walter, and I'm back. Y'all, let me tell you what I keep hearing in my head. I saw this little animation about that song, Rich Flex, and all I keep hearing is, 21, can you do something for me? Can you hit that little Rich Flex for me? That's all I be hearing. That, I keep hearing that song because I saw that animation, and that shit was hilarious, and that song was just that part of the song. Is sticking in my head. I'm pretty sure people have seen that what I'm talking about, but I had a download, you guys. Sorry about that. I had a download, <laughs> and the download was someone wants to take you on vacation, and they want to take you to that place, to a place. There's a couple of places like this where you basically y'all gonna be on a boat. That's what I was getting. And you're going to be able to see the ocean floor wherever you're going. So let's just see. <laughs> Might be somebody from your past that wants to reconnect with you. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download that I received? Somebody want to take one of y'all on vacay, okay? So what do you want us to know, Holy Spirit? What is the insight and guidance that you have for us at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for watching us when we go to sleep at night. Thank you for covering us throughout our days. Amen. Come on, shuffle. We're going to see. We're going to see. Let us go. Let's get it. High Priestess with the Two of Cups, child. Moon on the bottom. Page of Pentacles with the Lovers. Okay? Whoever this is that wants to take you on vacation, they know that you are the one for them. They don't know why they know it, but they know it. With this high priestess Pisces with the moon, either you may be a Pisces or they might be a Pisces, okay? But they know that it's something very significant about you, okay? You, they don't really know what it is, but it's something about you. It's something about you. And this person sees a future with you. They view you as their ideal love choice. I feel like they're working on how to express this to you and express this need to take you away. We have the three of pentacles. They're trying to figure out how they can let you know that this is the right move to make to collaborate with them. They have realized this. They've realized it, and now it's a matter of getting you on board here. It's a matter of balancing the scales completely so that both of y'all can have justice. But I don't think this person always realized that you were the one. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the magician. They may have taken action with other people before, but that doesn't, shit don't even matter, girl, whoever I'm talking to. Because they're ready to take action with you now. Okay, you must be a Pisces, whoever I'm talking to. There's too much Piscean energy out here already, child. This person really loves you. They really care about you. They want to be your emperor. Okay? But... I'm just really picking up on that. He like they feel like they got to convince you of this. Why do they why does this emperor energy feel like he has to convince this queen of cups that he she should take action with him holy spirit? Cuz that's how he feel. We have the knight of cups. He not sure if you're going to accept this love offer. Maybe because he's given you slick love offers in the past, love offers that didn't necessarily pan out, okay? This horse on this car, he looking like, are you sure you want to give that person your love? Are you really going to act right and do what you're supposed to do if you extend love what was on a look? No, he hadn't in the past. I'm talking about even the damn horse was looking like, now you know you ain't finna damn act right, okay? He didn't. But this man is trying to make amends now because he want to level up his self with you. That's literally what I'm getting here. 
this masculine knows somehow or feels that you are the missing puzzle piece in his life. Okay? He he knows that if he commits to you, his life will even out. Something like that here now. Maybe you were trying to tell this person that you were the one before and they couldn't see with this moon here. They couldn't see that the future lied with you, that you were the ideal love choice. But something has made this emperor see that he needs to make amends, offer you love again, and he needs to commit to you. What happened? Because he had a change of heart. Like, I'm really still picking up that this man finds you very mysterious, very mystic. He still don't quite know why. He still don't quite know what it is about you, but he know it's an, it's enough for him to get in gear and try to commit to you. He want to take you on vacation. I heard that specifically. Okay. But why is this emperor feeling like he has to make this right with this queen of cups? He realized something here. We have the hermit. I'm trying to tell you this man may have went through something. Okay. He must he might have even did his his own research about some things. But he got some insight and guidance about you and his life and the direction that he needs to move in. And this man is leaving it all behind. Like, I feel like he got some kind of wake up call, y'all. He got some kind of wake up call with this hermit energy here. Can I get some more insight on this hermit part, Holy Spirit? We have the Three of Cups, uh-huh, Ten of Swords, whoever he was celebrating with, and out here gallivanting, gallivanting is the word for the week, y'all, okay? Whoever he was out here gallivanting with, they betrayed him, they stabbed him all up in his damn back, and in his damn, look, that motherfucker got Ten of Swords in his back. Whoever this was that he was trying to have success with, this person tried to destroy him. And that's what made him realize that he needed to come back to you. And I hate to even say that because that sounds like some bullshit. It really does when you hear these situations where the masculine or the feminine basically dropped their divine counterpart for somebody else and they went off over there and got all fucked up and now they want to come back to the real one. And it is fucked up that it, it took you to get stabbed in your back, all up in the back of your neck and shit, in your ass. I mean, he got he got daggers in his ass, okay? That's how bad whoever this Three of Cups energy was did him, okay? But you had to wait till you got stabbed all up in your ass to decide and realize that who your true divine counterpart was. And that's why I feel like he's going to have to convince this Queen of Cups because she ain't one of them, okay? She has not been sitting up waiting on this emperor to get fucked up so he could come run back to her because he realized she's the better woman. This Queen of Cups ain't been doing that. Not this Queen of Cups high priestess. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. That's why he having to convince you. That's why he want to take you. I, I really feel like that is giving Menorca, okay? Something like that here now. We have the Ten of Pentacles because he got the money to do it. And I'm talking about somewhere where you can see straight to the bottom of the ocean. That's what I saw. But his karmic behavior, his karmic behavior with you in the past got him in the Nine of Wands. Okay? His, he know that he did not honor this Queen of Cups High Priestess like he should have. And I feel like this Queen of Cups High Priestess let this masculine know, you know, respect me, okay? Or I ain't going. And he chose not to. And this is why he was in the Ten of Swords. But this man has recovered from this, this betrayal. He is still in the Ten of Pentacles. And it's a new obsession to make things right with this Queen of Cups High Priestess, okay? It's a new obsession for him to balance this situation, 
Mm. I also am picking up that this Queen of Cups told him something and he didn't believe her about who he was celebrating with. Now I'm hearing that too. We have the Seven of Pentacles. She told him that he needed to have his guard up to who he was choosing to invest in, who he was choosing to invest his time and energy in. That something wasn't right with that person, okay? I knew I was picking that up, that he was going to get hemmed up. With this Pisces energy, this man tried to enlighten him of what his future would be if he celebrated with this Three of Cups energy. And this is when the drama ensued between the two of them. This emperor thought that this high priestess queen of cups was hating on whoever he was currently celebrating with, trying to get her to choose him instead. But this motherfucker didn't realize, yep, I'm calling him a motherfucker because that's that bullshit. If a queen of cups high priestess tells you anything, you need to damn listen. 1111 11 on the phone, okay? Because this Queen of Cups High Priestess energy I'm picking up on, she don't waste her words. She don't got time. If she tell you something and you choose to ignore the warning or not take heed, that's on you. She ain't got to convince nobody to believe nothing she say because the future always holds the answers and the future be backing her premonitions up. Okay, and the future then backed up something this Queen of Cups High Priestess told this Emperor about this Three of Cups. And he wanted to fight and have drama with this Pisces energy when she tried to warn him, warn him how he was going to get caught up if he kept dealing with this other person. So this is why he wants to show her love and gratitude, most of all, because he realizes how dynamic she was to even pinpoint his future troubles. Okay, she realizes that he realizes that this is truly a mystic, truly a divine woman who who gets spiritual downloads from the universe. This is somebody 1221 that I should be trying to be with, not be in this five of wands energy with because she was right. She was trying to save me from her and disappointment. And if I hook up with her, I'll be saved. If I reconnect from her, if I reconnect with her, I will be saved from future hurt and disappointment. She will be able to blow the trumpet and let me know when some shit about to go down or give me wise counsel. This is why I want to make her my queen of pentacles. Now, if you hear the, the um, I don't see no love out here neither. No, not really. Because this Knight of Cups offer that he gave her before was some slick-ass bullshit. Okay? And low-key, I see this Page of Cups with the Hierophant, but it really need to be the Ace of Cups with the Hierophant. Okay? For this what, what this woman revealed to this man and how he didn't take heed and then mistreated her after she told him. Why would she go back? That's what I'm hearing. It is going to take a lot of convincing for this woman to believe and feel in her own spirit, in her own Shondo, okay? That this masculine is going to be faithful and true to her. Because when she was trying to show him some loyalty and tell him the truth about somebody, he didn't want to listen. He rejected her. And now that he's had to walk away from this person because they had him in the Ten of Swords, he wants to take this action with her. He wants to charge at her and, and set things straight. And he is being very decisive about how he, do, he does this because he doesn't want to cause any more issues between him and this Queen of Cups. But I really don't feel like this Queen of Cups is this masculine's divine counterpart, okay? I don't. I really feel like she has Eight of Cups' this connection for good and that she has moved on with her life with this cherry energy here. She's moving on in another direction. And the reason why I feel like this is because this Queen of Cups high priestess for a long time was trying to warn this emperor about the endings coming in his life if he continued to deal with and be consistent with this Three of Cups energy, okay? 
I am picking that up. This woman, for a, a good amount of time, tried to let this emperor know that if he kept messing with whoever this Three of Cups is, and, you know, honestly, I feel like this Three of Cups is not just one person. I feel like this Three of Cups talks about this emperor's behavior with women. And maybe this Queen of Cups high priestess saw that if he continued, if an emperor continued to dabble with karmics to the point where he was thinking he was having success with karmics, he was going to fall. And that's exactly what happened. Okay? So, you know, it's it's like, how do you how do you fix it with somebody that you swore was a liar, that you even tried to cause drama for when they forewarned you? How do you make it right with that person? He feel like if he take you to this other country on this vacation on this yacht, because that's literally what I saw, that you're going to be like, okay, go. It's up, it's up again. We can fuck with each other again. He feel like if he communicates this news, good news to you, that he wants to be with you, that he's sorry that you were right. Please let him make it up to you. You will change your mind, I'm hearing. But I, I'm not getting that you're going to change your mind. You're not. We are 16 minutes in the reading. And one thing I noticed is that you sticking with who you are which is this High Priestess, Queen of Cups, Moon Energy, okay? You, I feel like, revealed a part of yourself, a very secretive part of yourself, is what I'm hearing, to express what you expressed to this man about his future, and he did not take heed. And the way he chose to disconnect from you is also why you ain't going clarify that Holy Spirit. I'm telling y'all, this Queen of Cups is not invested. We have the Queen of Wands. This, this Queen of Cups is going to remain single because she learned about this masculine. She was a student. Uh, uh, she got an A-plus in that Emperor course on this masculine, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because a true divine masculine we all have our moments where we don't want to take heed. We don't want to listen. But I'm really picking up that this masculine here, you know, he a boss. He got money. He's successful. I ain't taking nothing from him. But he ain't tapped in like he should be. Because this woman told him. It's like she, she could see what was happening, what was going to happen if he kept dealing with who he was dealing with. And she told him, and this this masculine refused to listen. And I feel like this page of swords represents how this queen of cups has learned about 1818. She learned some things about this emperor while observing him in this three of cups connection that ended up being betraying him, okay? We got the knight of pentacles. She, she, she observed this emperor go through everything she told him that he was going to go through if he continued to be in this Six of Pentacles energy, giving to and receiving from multiple women, okay? And honestly, I feel like even when this emperor was starting to see cracks in his foundation, he still kept going. He still never tried to come to this Queen of Cups High Priestess and say, you were right. He was still being mean. He still withdrew from her. He continued to keep up this facade that, no, I'm not going to crash and burn. Everything is going to be all right with this King of Pentacles here. But the star card lately for me, y'all, it really has been talking about loss. The loss that we experience, you see that water she's pouring out? That's loss. Those are the things that are being drained from her life, flushed out of her life, out of the person on the card's life. And I feel like that's what happened to this King of Pentacles. He did take some kind of loss now to have been in the Ten of Swords. He realized that who he was hoping to have, whoever these women are, I don't even know, it don't even matter, but whoever he thought was going to bring his life into alignment, 
he realizes that them people really didn't give a fuck about him. That they were using him for whatever reason with this five of swords, trying to win at all costs with him. And he he's in regret. Because this, I'm telling you, this man, this man took some kind of loss. I, it ain't necessarily a financial loss. But he went through some type of catharsis dealing with whoever this was that betrayed him. This is why he's so obsessed with making things right with this high priestess. Because she had illuminated the truth to him long ago. And if he would have listened, things would have went a little differently with this world card here. Okay? The endings wouldn't have been the way that they were. Things would not have trans transpired the way that they did. Okay? So this emperor is going to communicate with this Queen of Cups High Priestess. Okay? And this is the other thing that I had picked up and I said I wasn't going to say it. But I really feel like this man is only wanting to get back with this woman because he knows she's psychic. And he think that she going to keep him ahead of the game. And yes, she did warn him about some people in his life. And what she said proved to be true. But I'm just not picking up on his sincerity. I'm picking up on him being like, oh, I need her on my team for real because she was right. So I can use her to help make my future bright with this Ten of Cups. That's, that's the only reason why I'm picking up he really want to get with this high priestess. And he... He going to spend some money and, you know, take her on this little vacay and all that shit. But his intentions are still for selfish gain. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We got the two of pentacles in the reverse. This masculine thinks that he's going to be able to balance things between him and this Queen of Cups high priestess. But he's not because... A true high priestess knows when somebody is coming towards her with that bullshit, okay? She may still entertain you a little something, something, depending on how she feeling that day. Or she may just continue to ignore your ass. And I'm really getting that this Queen of Cups high priestess is going to continue to. Eight of Cups, this connection. She don't care where he taking her, okay? Because there's a King of Wands out here for her and she know that she know that there's another ideal love choice a more divine counterpart a true spiritual match for her okay that she waiting on and that's what i'm hearing she not gonna waste any more of her life being in the five of pentacles and the eight of swords with this emperor because see he really a king of swords y'all okay with the seven of cups right behind that like I said, he coming out here as an emperor, but he ain't no divine masculine. Okay, he ain't. He's not. He's a boss of some kind. He got some long money, I'm hearing. But he ain't no divine masculine. He is not tapped into his divinity. He has not tried to have a serious connection with the Most High. He is not listening to the downloads that the universe gave him because I'm telling y'all, this masculine knew that things were starting to crumble with these Three of Cups energies he was celebrating with. But he was still trying to put on a facade back here with this Four of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles. Like what she told him wasn't true until he ended up completely in the Three of Swords and those Three of Cups connections had to be laid to rest. Okay, so he was still trying to play her even when he knew that she was telling the truth, even when he had indication in his future that this woman was accurate. This is why the Wheel of Fortune, I really just, ain't, I'm just really not feeling. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, she ain't feeling it. This man about to offer her an Ace of Pentacles. He want to have a victory with her so bad, so bad, because he wants her on his team. But she know that. She know that's all it's about. She know it's not about love. At one point, I feel like this Queen of Cups truly cared for this Emperor energy, this King of Swords. But he cut her down. And she just she's just not going to allow him to use her anymore. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? 
And I'm dropping on that three of wands. I'm telling you, she done moved on. She can see her future in the horizon. And she has a future with the king of wands. If this woman is a high priestess, then she know that it's a good man coming to her. A true divine match. Why would she be enticed by this ace of pentacles that this king of swords is offering her? When she knows that he is not who she want to be with. She knows that he ain't even on her level because he want to use her to stay on the know, stay in the know. Okay, what kind of shit is that? And, you know, that's kind of actually like, ugh, to me, the more I'm thinking about it. He he willing to be in play in a relationship with his Queen of Cups High Priestess just so that he can stay ahead of the game. That's really what I'm getting, y'all. This man ain't, we still ain't seen no type of real love come out here, okay? Any, any type of positive energy that he wants to experience with her is tied to the fact that he wants her to be on his team so he can know what's coming in the future. And, I, and that just ain't right. And she just ain't going for it. Okay? So I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I will be back soon with another one. And also, um, in a video I did, I think it's been a couple of days ago, I mentioned how I would be giving away Christmas blessings to members of my channel. I think I said subscribers, but that message was for the members of my channel, people who have consistently patronized Mommy Wata Tarot as a member since its, its existence, okay? I am going to be blessing you all with some Christmas gifts, so I will be doing a post in the members section on the members page where you will be able to post your cash app and I'm going to randomly bless y'all. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify that that wasn't for subscribers. That was for members only. Okay. So I don't know. You, you can join whenever you want to, but that's something I'm going to do for those people who have shown consistent loyalty to my channel. Okay. I think I already said it, but if I didn't, I'm going to say it again. If it doesn't apply, Please let it fly, okay? And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.